Hi guys, it's Lexi. So I wanted to film this collective empties uh, video for you guys. I started holding on to my empties around the time after Christmas. And there are some things that I would throw out, or not throw out, I guess, yeah, throw out and recycle. Um, but they are, there are also a lot of things that I held on to, as you guys can see. So this is not like a monthly um, empties or uh, anything like that. I guess you could, I guess you could say like a half, half year empty. I don't know, maybe. I realized after candle day of this year that I had a bit more th stuff from Bath and Body Works than I knew to do with and candles and body care and lotion and soaps and so I figured that I would just show you guys there are also some soaps that I just like recycled and I totally forgot to put in my empties um, bin and so I wrote some of those down and I'll try to read those ones off for you guys too and tell you what I thought about those but I'm just going to hop right into this because it's going to be probably kind of long and I'll show you guys what I had so um, I guess I'll start off over here and then we'll kind of work our way around so the first thing over here is I guess I'll show you guys this so this is a banana um, lotion I got this from Tony I think it's like Tony Moly or something it just smelled like banana runts, and I actually got this at Ulta Beauty. It's just a lotion. I got it because I thought it was like funny to look at, and I kept it in my purse, and it was really good. It was um, definitely kind of like a greasy lotion, but it, it did the job, and it smelled really good. So that was that. I'll go through all of my wallflowers because I have a ton, a ton, a ton of wallflowers. So I'll, I'll run through all of those. Um, first, I'll read off these ones that are in my wallflower plugs right now, but running out any day. So this is, whoops, I have something on my hand. I can't get it off, sorry guys. This one is uh, strawberry pound cake. This is like a, a fan favorite for Bath and Body Works. It smells really good. The wallflower was very strong for like the first, I guess like the first week and then it kind of like they always do, kind of just like died down. But it's it held it held strong for the next so it was like a good week and then like a, a somewhat okay week and then it was just kind of like gone. But it, it's a good scent and I liked it. Um so that was that. This one is cherry frost. This is uh I think the same scent as like the bomb pop or like the firecracker pop candle that just came out. Um, that for like 4th of July. This one was white cherry orange ju juniper and it was all right. I guess I'm not a big cherry fan. Really kind of comes across like cough syrupy to me, but this one wasn't, I don't want to say it's cough syrupy, but it was just okay. I guess I, I wouldn't repurchase this. Um, that was just okay. This is Fiji white sands. Um, oops, sorry guys, there's like dog hair everywhere. BG White Sands is a perfect bathroom scent for the summer in my opinion. It is fresh cut sugar cane, white nectarine, and sandalwood. That one was strong and good. Then Crushed Candy Cane is actually one of my favorites and I purchased a couple backups that I have in my collection right now. This did much better in wallflower form than it did for a candle in my opinion. It's crunchy peppermint and white sugar crystals. It's super delicious, and if you like peppermint scents, then I prefer this uh, over Twisted Peppermint, actually. Uh, and Twisted Peppermint, peppermint is my favorite body care for uh, the winter time. But this one is a much better um, scent in wallflower than in um, candle form, so. Champagne toast, I, this is also another one of my favorites for body care. Um, the, oh my God, it's so good. It's very like fruity. It's not very wintry in my opinion, um, but it's delicious. This is bubbling champagne, sparkling berries, and juicy tangerine. To me, this is more of like a spring summer kind of a scent and I wish that they would have this in the spring and the summer, uh, but I have like tons and tons of backups because it's my one of my favorites. However, in wallflower form, I do not love it. There's something that comes across kind of mildewy to me. Um, yeah, I don't know. That's just my thoughts on that. 
cinnamon spice vanilla. This is so delicious. I think that this is like the same as like the the cinnamon donut or um, whatever. The one that came, that's purple packaging that came out in the Sweet Shop 2.0 collection. Um, I believe that this is like the same scent. This one is delicious. It's bakery. It's spicy and cinnamony. And I actually put this in my bathroom and had a guest come over and they were like, what? It smells so good in your bathroom, but it makes me confused because like, I don't want to be hungry in a bathroom. And I was like, oh my God, that makes sense. So I switched it out for like a kitchen one for a while and it was very strong in my open concept. So I like this one a lot and I'll probably repurchase this if I can. This one is hot cocoa and cream. Uh, I'm not a big fan of hot cocoa and cream, really in wallflower or also in candle form. I, it's okay. It's definitely a chocolatey scent, but there's just something that it doesn't like totally tick all the boxes for me, but it's all right. I'm not mad at it. Um, steamed chocolate or milk chocolate, steamed milk and nutmeg. It, maybe it's the milk that it's, it's just something that's like slightly off for me. It's not my favorite, but nonetheless, it was good in the winter. Banana bunt cake is a delicious scent that actually did incredibly well in my wallflower. I didn't have any problems. I, this was in my open concept, like kitchen, living room, uh, dining room area. And it, it it actually filled up my house better than the candle, which was a Yankee, but <laughs> better than the candle that I had burning, I could smell this over it. So that really says something. And it was strong and it lasted a long time. So I like this one a lot. White Pumpkin is actually one that I had to put in the guest room. I don't know if they're coming back out with it this fall, but for me, it was just too spicy, I guess. And I just, it was like unsettling for my stomach and I just put it in the guest room. And I think that my friend that stayed there enjoyed it. Um, but yeah, not one, not one of my favorites. This is Frosted Cake Pop. I believe this was like a test scent that did not go wide, maybe, um, in candle form. But I saw the wallflower and I snatched it up really quick. However, I did not love it. It was um, definitely a, a bakery, um, cherry bakery kind of a scent. But I, I just, there's something about the cherry in this that also came across kind of like cough medicine-y to me. Um, yeah, not my favorite, but it, I was happy that I at least got to try it out because it didn't go wide in candle. Um, and I prefer that I actually had in wallflower because those usually don't last quite as long. All right. So pistachio ice cream was another one that I kept in the guest bedroom. It was, um, definitely a very nutty scent. It wasn't too creamy. I guess it was a slightly creamy, but definitely the nut was very like strong um, it was just okay. I didn't love it. It wasn't my favorite. That's why I stuck it in the guest bedroom. Probably wouldn't repurchase it. Maybe if it was a candle, I might enjoy it more. Um, but we'll see if it comes back in a candle for like the next winter, I'll probably try it or whenever, I guess I'll probably try it in a candle form. Warm vanilla sugar is a classic. This is actually my, one of my grand or my grandma's favorite. And I got her a wallflower with this in it. And she really enjoyed it. And I also enjoyed this one as well. It's a delicious, just classic scent. I'm actually wearing it on my body right now and body care. And it's it's a great one. Uh, mango dragon fruit is a delicious scent. This is actually one of my favorite wallflowers I had. And I wish that I got more of this scent. It's just exactly what it says, mango and dragon fruit. And it's tropical and it smells just like a fruity drink and it's delicious. And uh, very, this was a very strong wall, wallflower. It was in my bedroom and um, I could smell it out in like the hallway and the bathroom and the kitchen. It was very strong and really good. Toasted S'mores. This is also another one of my favorites of all time. I have like multiple backups of this one. It's delicious. It's like, it, it's in my opinion, much better than the candle of this. Very, very um, authentic s'more scent. You can smell the graham crackers, the chocolate, and the marshmallow. Really good. Recommend that one over and over. White Caramel Cold Brew is um, it's a weak, it's a very like weak scent in candle form, but it's one of my favorites. It's so good, and if you put it in a small bedroom or even like the bathroom, it's 
it's a really nice scent. I love caramel scents. I love coffee. It's a very subtle coffee note, but it's good. The wallflower didn't really perform too well. Um, it was just uh, subtle. It was there when you, if you smelled, if you try to sniff it really hard, you could. But um, yeah, either way, not maybe the most powerful one, but a good scent nonetheless. Marshmallow Fireside is another one of my favorites. Marsh Everyone knows what this one smells like. It's a really delicious marshmallow, smoky, kind of woodsy uh, scent, and it's good, and I love this one in the fall. All right, so moving along from all of these wallflowers, I'll go to this um, Peach Bellini Antibacterial um, Hand Sanitizer. So I wish that Bath and Body Works would have more of these because I love these big pumps. They're perfect for the car. I would assume if like you were a teacher or like had an office that this would be awesome for like a desk as well. Um, I work from home, so I don't use it. But when I'm in the car, this is like perfect. It fits right in the cup holder and I loved it. This scent was delicious. I usually don't like peach scents, but this smelled like a fruity PG drink and I liked it a lot. So Beach Cabana is one that I just finished up. The notes are Jasmine, Orange Blossom, and Warm Sands. This was like my boyfriend's favorite. Super delicious scent. Very beachy, tropical, um, but like a fresh beachy kind of a scent. And it was delicious. Champagne Toast. Like I said, I finished up this body uh, shower wash, shower gel. And it's one of my favorite scents. I also finished up the Champagne Toast Lotion. Um, what I do is I cut these in, whoa, I cut these in half and I get every single last drop out of these because there's so much hiding in these that you maybe are missing and I try to get the most bang for my buck. And I finished up both of those and they were delicious. Um, I also finished up both of these spring scents this past spring. Uh, Sparkling Pear Riesling was my favorite soap of all time. I actually think that it was just so delicious. It smelled like like a wine kind of but not like a nasty I don't know I'm not describing that well um it's pear nectarine and champagne it was delicious I love this one I loved the label I love the font I love how it's clean and just white background it's so pretty it smelled so good I wish that they had this I would grab 100 I wish that they came out with this in a candle I think that they in the past they did have this in a candle um, but I need it in a candle. It's so good. The other one that I finished up is First Bloom. This one is Peony Petals Lily in Green Grass. It was fresh. It smelled just like almost like lilacs or like flowers. And it it was just fresh and springtime. And every time I used it, I was like, oh, I don't ever, I just want to keep washing my hands forever. It smelled so good. So these were two of my favorites. I finished up, I guess we'll actually go along to the rest of the body care. I finished up a Twisted Peppermint uh, lo <laughs> lotion body or er, body cream. And I cut that one in half and got every last drop. It's one of my favorites. And I finished up this giant bubble bath and body wash. And it was delicious. I love the scent. It's very, um, I don't know, just very minty and refreshing. So that one was a favorite. Um, let's see. This is a sea salt, uh, fresh mango sea salt. I just finished this one up like last night. It is, um, let's see, mango, sea salt, breeze, clementine, musk, and orange blossom. Super summery scent. This is my boyfriend's favorite whenever I wear it. He's like so happy. He loves it. It's fresh. Um, it's You definitely get like the sea salt scent in it, and it lasts on your body forever and ever and ever. All right, Coco Shea Coconut. This one was a delicious scent as well. Um, it was the moisturizing body wash. This one I use alongside, um, my boyfriend also used this one. It's just like a perfect summery scent. It's beachy and it is moisturizing. Um, it's actually, sometimes I find with these ones, you lather yourself up and it's so hard to like wash it off because it doesn't feel like it's coming off. Whereas like the shower gels, 
when you lather, it foams, and then you wash it off, and you're like, all right, it's all off. But these, sometimes it's like you lather and lather and lather and try to wash it off, and it just keeps lathering more. So I don't know. But either way, it's very good. And this took a long time to get through because a little goes a like wicked long way. But um, it was a very good scent anyway. And eventually, after I work my way through, maybe I'll repurchase one this repurchase this one as well for the summertime. All right. Ah, okay, guys. Sorry, I'm back. Cody texted me and just told me that we hit a thousand um, followers on Instagram. I'm so excited. That is so fun. I love this community that we became a part of, and I'm just forever grateful for you guys. But anyway, so back to the empties video. Um, <laughs> so I'm just very excited. He just keeps texting me, and we're sending happy act, happy gifts to each other. So, <laughs> all right. So moving along. This is not technically empty. However, this is very old, as you guys can tell, and has gone bad. So sadly, I'm gonna get rid of it. It's cucumber melon. Everyone knows what this smells like. Um, I had this for forever, and I was holding on to it for nostalgic purposes, but I don't need to do that. I need to make room for more stuff, and uh, this is nasty smelly, so I'm going to uh, empty this bottle and then recycle, so bye-bye, little guy. Um, let me work through three more of these soaps and then I will um, let you guys see all of like the wax and stuff that I've went through and candles. So this one is You Shine Bright Strawberry Lemon. This was a um, soap that I mostly grabbed for the packaging. I didn't love the scent. The scent wasn't bad, but uh, lemony scents um, usually are only, I usually only like them in the kitchen. And so that's actually where I put this one. And it did really good. Um, it was strong. And the strawberry scent was also like really nicely balanced with the lemon. It was sweet. It was good. And I just really, really was sad to let this packaging go because it's so cute. Um, but yeah, so this was a good one. Uh, the next one is a really standard scent. It's Kitchen Lemon. A lot of people have this one. And that's for a good reason. It's a, it's a really good kitchen scent because it makes you feel like after cooking with like oniony, you know, onions and your hands smell like onions and everything smells like onions. This is really nice because it kind of gets that onion smell out. I love this one and this is pretty much one of my favorites for um, the kitchen and the packaging again. I just am obsessed with this packaging. I was so sad to let it go because it was just so pretty. If you can't tell, I really do like, like the kind of clean classic packaging um, for stuff like that especially when it's like displayed in my kitchen. Um, okay, so this one is Sweet Berries in Bloom. Again, <laughs> the packaging. I'm a huge packaging fan. The hummingbird is very sweet. That's my grandma's favorite bird. So I loved using this and, and it reminded me of my grandma. Um, juicy blackberry, pomegranate, and peonies. This was just a very fruity but floral scent. It was very soft and sweet and... Um, one of my favorites too. So um, if they have this, I'll probably pick it up again. I liked it a lot. All right. So one more thing, actually, I forgot about, or actually, let me do both of these two. Three more things, I guess, before we get into wax. Um, there is Wish on a Starfish. This was like a blueberry kind of a scent. I don't know where it says. Oh, so very sweet. Yeah. So it was like a very... Um, it, to me it just smelled like blueberries like if you took a bunch of blueberries and smushed them up that's what this reminded me of it was really nice I grabbed it because the packaging again was very cute and it smelled great so that was that this is Honolulu Sun I think a lot of people know what this smells like it's just like a really tropical tropical scent and um kind of like almost like the um mango sea salt it kind of reminds me of that like this one very similar to that delicious did the job. I love these. Um, always keep one of these on my little pocket back holder, which is like a little pug. Keep this on my purse at all times. And then these are great for also for my purse. Um, vanilla buttercream. This one smells like if you are rubbing <laughs> frosting all over your hands. It's delicious. Works great. And um, yeah, this is definitely one of my favorite of the hand creams. Okay. So... Now we'll get into the smelly stuff, like wax and candles. 
Um, this is not wax, but this is the smelly stuff. This was a car, um, car clip from Yankee in the red raspberry scent. This worked really good. It was very strong in my car. It's one of the vent ones, which I prefer over any of the other kind. And um, yeah, I like this one a lot and I would recommend that. It just is kind of like worn out scent and went nasty. So, okay, moving along. I'll go through all of this junk. So um, these are the, I don't know what you call them, like the, not the tarts, but the, yeah, you guys know what I'm talking about. Um, I went through two of the, the Mountain Lodge ones, and this, um, <laughs> I always joke and say that this reminds me of my uncle's cologne, but it does. It smells like a very, like, woodsy, it's like a masculine woodsy cologne kind of a um, scent. That one's good. I also went through two of the Cafe Al Fresco ones. Um, this is a delicious scent. It's a very standard coffee, like a vanilla e coffee e um, caramely coffee vanilla um, scent. I guess yeah, it's really good. So if you want like a vanilla coffee um, caramely kind of scent, then this is a good one. And then I also went through Berry Licious to me. This did not do much at all. It like I mean obviously. It, um, Yankee doesn't always give me the best of luck or anyone for that matter. Um, but this one, I like really couldn't smell it. Um, I almost can't even smell it much from sniffing the container, but, um, yeah, I guess I wouldn't repurchase this one or, um, recommend it really. So kind of reminds me of like berry chapstick. I don't know. Okay. I have, I'll, guess, I'll go through all my wax melts now, which I've been hopping along. So I have a problem, and I, I do this with body care. I do this with um, candles. I do this with pretty much everything. I buy tons of stuff, and then I get afraid that I'm going to use it and not be able to enjoy it anymore. So once I get like almost to the bottom, I stop using it because I'm afraid of getting rid of it. Um, <laughs> so a lot of the times I just use like <clears throat> most of it. And then I have like all of these, like almost empty containers. I'm trying to work past that. I know it's a real problem, but here we are. I'm doing pretty good right now. I think at working through stuff and I'm proud of myself. So I'll start with these. This is, um, super tarts, Oz uh, scent. I think that this one, I should have wrote this down. I think that this one smelled like, um, Mountain Dew, so like a lime, kind of a soda pop scent. I actually put this one in. I enjoyed it for like about a half an hour, and then it was so strong that I it actually gave me a headache, and I was like, what's going on? So I had to blow it out, and I actually threw it out, sadly. Um, I don't know why I've been having a hard time with super tarts. Maybe my nose is a little too sensitive to certain scents but they always kind of come across a little I don't know maybe a little like soapy kind of like soapy to me I don't know so I don't want to offend I like there's a lot of scents from super tarts that I love but yeah some of these are um a little headache inducing for me and maybe I just haven't found like the right ones but I'm gonna uh try out have a huge bag of samples I'm just gonna try out a lot more and um I actually went through like four more of these but I threw out the bags because I just forget I just put them in and then I forget especially with like the bags I don't know why but like I keep these and I'm like good at holding on to these and like these but like I just toss bags like this so I've been trying to remember but I, I went through like a couple more of the Oz ones and then the Harry Potter I went through like the um butter beer scent from that which I thought was just okay. And then there's a couple of the other ones. They're all very strong. Super tarts are strong. Like they're insanely strong. Um, but to me, I just haven't found my, I guess, guess I haven't found my favorites with those. So, okay, moving along. Um, I'll do Destination Wax first. I went through two Destination Wax. I went through Honey Pear Cider, um, which was a delicious, like pear scent it was very fresh it made the whole house smell like a like autumn pear kind of a, yeah I guess like a, a cider um it was delicious my whole like open concept downstairs filled up really fast with it um my boyfriend even remarked that he liked it a lot and um this one is let 
This one lasted pretty long also in my uh, tea light warmer. This one I put in my one of my Scentsy wax warmers and it threw really well. I, however, um, I don't know what it is. I think it could be the hazelnut note in this that I like didn't love. It's an okay coffee scent, um, but it wasn't my favorite. There are a lot of other ones that I've just been having better luck, but to me it kind of, there was, I think there's something maybe that was like a little too sweet about it for me. Um, it could be the buttery caramel, I guess, or the brulee part, I guess. I don't know. It was, it was very, very, very sweet. If you like really, really sweet coffee scents, I'm sure you would like love this. But I think it was just maybe a tad bit too sweet, but it was strong um, and, it, and it threw very well. So I would recommend it anyway. Um, just be warned that it's very sweet. Okay, we're going to move on to Midnight Daydream Wax. These are all of the empties. From Harrison's company, I went through uh, quite a bit, and this is these ones are all very recent that I went through. Um, so let me just start here. This is bourbon scotch mellow bread, zucchini bread, marshmallow fluff, and bourbon butterscotch. This one is very good. I, however, am learning a lot about myself and my nose and what I do like and what I don't like. I don't think I like zucchini bread. Um, it's an all right note, but it, it's. If you like zucchini bread, you would love this. It's it's very, um, you can smell the bready kind of note in it. Um, either way, I, I could still enjoy it. It didn't like turn me completely off. I still like melted it for multiple days. And, um, and it was very strong. Like all of his wax really is very strong. Fills up the whole open concept. And um, I melt all of his stuff in a uh, tea light warmer just because I feel like tea light warmers actually do, um, they help like perform the best with with these. Um, I s suppose maybe the super tarts would do better in a, um, like a Scentsy warmer. I don't know, I'll have to, I I'm learning, so I'm just gonna have to test a lot of things out. But this one was good, very good. Uh, if you like zucchini bread definitely try that this was a sample and bear claw oatmeal raisin cookies um this one was really nice i really really like oatmeal um cookie notes and i honestly wish that i got this i don't know if he has this one but i'm i'm gonna have to hold on to this and and purchase this in a bigger size because it was delicious very bakery um sweet not over, overly, overly sweet. Chocolatey, raisiny, oatmeal -y. It was very good. Um, that's another thing I think Harrison does really well with like his bakery scents. This one is Caramel Popcorn Claws. This one's actually in my bedroom finishing up right now. It's caramel covered popcorn and bear claws. It's like a chocolatey, caramely scent and you get like that salty popcorn kind of a scent um, note as well. It is Oh, yeah, it's delicious. I really like it. Kind of reminds me of like a carnival. This one is gummy bears. This one was actually not one of my favorites. I don't know what it, what maybe, I don't really know what it was about it that I didn't love, but um, it was just kind of maybe like, maybe like a lime kind of a, a scent. There's maybe it's like a lime gummy bear scent in there. Um, it was okay if you like like fr the fruity kind of lime, lemony lime kind of a sense. Maybe you would like this one. It wasn't my favorite. I still enjoyed it. I still melted it completely and didn't turn me completely off and make me want to take it out. But um, yeah, I guess check it out if you like those kind. It really does smell like a gummy bear. It smells just like a like one of the yellow or green gummy bears. <laughs> okay. So Purple Cow is I have melting right now, actually, and finishing that one up. It's great popsicles and a creamy vanilla ice cream center. This blew me away with like how much it smells just like what it says, great popsicles with a creamy uh, vanilla ice cream center. Um, it's like if you took one of the orange creamsicles but just had it instead of orange, it was grape. Um, that's exactly what this smells like, and it is one of my favorites. Um, I believe that this is like one that I've seen a couple other vendors have is purple cow, but yeah, I love this one. It's really, really good. All right. This is frosted birthday cake macchiato. This is the first, <laughs> this is the first melt 
um, or first thing that I ever melted from Midnight Daydream wax. This is what started it all for me. So um, obviously I love this scent. Now it's near and dear to my heart. Frosted birthday cake and caramel macchiato. It's a coffee, delicious cof coffee, bakery, but like fluffy cake, um, very sweet, um, but not like, I guess, oh, it's not sicken sickeningly sweet. So um, yeah, love this one. Uh, let's see. This is strawberry sweet, strawberry jam, cotton candy, and funnel cake. Uh, the funnel cake was really strong, especially when melting in this one, but you definitely got the strawberry note. Uh, I didn't really detect, I don't remember detecting too much cotton candy in there, uh, but the strawberry jam and funnel cake uh, made it almost smell strawberries, like a strawberry on top of like funnel cake. Sorry guys, so um, I'm <laughs> just going to finish up the candles really quickly. Um, actually wax, I'm sorry. This is the last one, it's Waffle Mellow Frosted Birthday Cake. This one I, I melted for my birthday. It was delicious, definitely a very fluffy birthday cake scent um, and it lasted a very long time. All right, so moving along, I've got two from this company called uh, Our Own Candle Company. I got these at Boscov's for $1.99. They last a very long time and in a small room, they do very well. Um, orange creamsicle and root beer float. This one was a very authentic root beer scent and I liked it a lot. And orange cream creamsicle was also a very authentic orange creamsicle scent. I would repurchase these. I'm planning on um, actually popping some holes in these, uh, cleaning out the sides and the jar, and then um, using these for melts in my car when it heats up in the summer. So that's what I'm gonna do with these. Um, this was spruce, which was just like a wallflower tester. I didn't love this scent, so I gave it to my boyfriend who very much enjoyed this and said it was one of his favorites actually. So it's just exactly what you would imagine, just like a very, uh, uh, like a outdoorsy kind of a tree scent. This one was Frosted Cranberry? No, Cranberry Woods. I use this for my Q-tips right now. <laughs> um, and I actually use a lot of them. I have a lot of jars. I have a lot here, but I have a lot of jars that are in my bathroom um, in the vanity that I use for like our toothbrush and toothpaste and flossers and stuff like that. Um, but this one's perfect for Q-tips and also bobby pins I just thought would be really good for that. Um, the scent I did not love. It was very woodsy. I don't, I think that I'm not a fan of cedar. I'm still up in the air about cedar, I guess. Um, but if you like woodsy scents and cranberry, then you'd probably love it. But a lot of people have tried that. All right, moving on to these. Um, a lot of these I have taken the labels off and already am in uh, use for like repurposing reasons, I guess. Some, uh, some of them I haven't put on this list, but a lot of them I have. So let me just pull the ones that I haven't put on this list and I'll read those to you guys first. Let's see, so this one, this one, this one, and this one I did not put on the list. Um, but there are some um, that, the rest of them are on this list here. Actually, this one I also did. So this one is the scent Bergamot Waters. I think that this is real marble maybe, or like, I don't know. It's very, not real marble, but it's like a, it's like a thick glass, um, very, very heavy. And uh, Bergamot Waters is a scent that I, they all, Bath and Body Works always renames it and I just keep buying it because I like it so much. It's a cologne, fresh, summery scent and it's great. Strawberry Pound Cake I finished up. This was a fan favorite and for good reason. It's sweet, it's fluffy, um, it throws very well. I wish that they had done something else for the label. I like the color jar. I don't like the flowers. I don't think it makes sense for a pound cake. Um, this would have done better in the um, Sweet Shop 2.0 collection. Nonetheless, it's an amazing scent and I grabbed up a couple backups. I wish that they came back out with it, maybe in different labeling. This is Boardwalk. Everyone knows what this smells like. It is a sickeningly sweet scent. I keep talking about that, but for me, it's funny because normally um, I used to not be able to stomach this. I gave it to the boyfriend who loved it. He loves popcorn scents and he was burning it one day and I walked upstairs in his office and I was like, what are you burning so good? And he was like, oh, it's boardwalk. And I was like, okay, well, I'm taking it downstairs. And, and I started burning it myself and loving it. 
and that I bought a couple backups because I like it so much. But this one did really well in this packaging for me, burnt well and threw like a champ, like boardwalks always do, I've heard. Um, this one is Yankee Candle Summer Storm. Speaking of throwing well, surprisingly for a Yankee, this one performed very, very well, did not soot too bad. Um, and was very strong actually and I had it in my open concept and I could smell it throughout the whole thing surprising because it is a Yankee but um the label I think is really cool especially when it got to the bottom of the jar and it flickered through the lightning it looked so cool I would repurchase this um I really liked it a lot this is Aloha Kiwi Passion Fruit the label is Aloha Beaches and I loved the label which is one reason why I did not want to get rid of it um, very adorable label. I'm planning holding on to it and putting tea lights or something in it because it's just too stinking cute. Um, the scent, Aloha, Ki Aloha Kiwi Passion Fruit, is a delicious tropical scent. This burnt really well. It didn't soot too bad. Um, this one thing didn't come back out. Um, but yeah, it was overall, I really liked it and I actually bought a backup of that scent. I wish I had more of that label. I know a lot of people didn't like the quotable kind of things, but I like it in that. I think that's very cute. Um, and then for the rest of these, I believe that I put, have put them all on this list. I think smoked birch. Did I put that one on there? I didn't put smoked birch. I have smoked vanilla. But let me talk about smoked birch really quick. Um, this one is a perfect winter scent when you're cuddled in and you have fire going. And um, it's like a very outdoorsy, smoky, woodsy scent. And it's delicious. And I really liked the jar for this too. I thought it was cool. All right, moving along. These ones that are all labelless are on this list right here. And some of them that are with labels are even on this list. So um, the ones that are not in here, I have still burnt, but are either doing a job in my bathroom or um, maybe I had thrown some of them out or recycled some of these jars. But I'll read you the list. So Pumpkin Banana Muffins, that was one of the first Bath & Body Works candles that I melted that got me into everything. It's an amazing scent. I wish they would bring it back. It's delicious. It's bakery, banana, uh, cinnamon, like cinnamony, spicy. It's very good, and I really miss that one. Cinnamon Sugar Donut is um, one that they have right now, I believe, and it's a very delicious bakery scent. Warm Vanilla Sugar is the first candle that I ever melted from Bath & Body Works, and that is what started my Bath & Body Works obsession. I love it. I love everything about it. I'm wearing it on my body right now in body care. So Leaves is a scent that, in my eyes, it's not fall until you melt or burn leaves. Everyone knows what that smells like. It's delicious. Mahogany Teakwood is a cologne. Kind of smells, a lot of people hate it, but it kind of smells like a Hollister, Abercrombie & Fitch kind of a situation. It's good. In my eyes, I, I can enjoy it. And uh, that was also one of the first that I ever burnt from Bath & Body Works. So it brings back some memories. And it was the first one I burnt in uh, my boyfriend and I's apartment together. So there's some nice like memories of when we um, lived in our old apartment. So that's fun too. Um, I love that scents can take you back. Uh, Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin, I burnt through two of those, which I know another scent that a lot of people uh, don't love, but I enjoyed when I first started burning. Pumpkin Apple is another classic fall scent. Marshmallow Fireside, I love that one. Heirloom Apple is um, okay to me. It got murky at the end of its life, and now every time I smell that, it kind of turns me off, but it's an all right one. Caramel Apple is one of my all-time favorites. Cider Lane, I talked briefly about no maybe I didn't um in my last video I did it is a scent that if I had to pick caramel apple or cider lane I'd always pick caramel apple cider lane is okay maybe slightly sickeningly sweet spiced apple toddy is a perfect uh winter scent for me cranberry woods I spoke about briefly smoked vanilla um did I talk about that one I can't remember guys I'm all over the place smoked vanilla is an amazing scent anyway very um vanilla -y and and kind of sultry I don't know I like it it's a sexy scent uh flannel is a a masculine scent they always come out with flannel everyone knows what that smells like but that one is like a manly lumberjack scent for me fresh balsam it's not Christmas until I burn fresh balsam um and then that is it that I have 
So you guys, thank you for sticking through that huge mass of wax and goodies and body care. Um, and I, I really hope you guys liked that video. I'm not sure if empties are like the most entertaining thing to watch, but it was fun to film anyway. And now we can't wait to recycle all of this. So yay. Thanks guys for watching. Have an awesome day. Bye-bye.